Hello everyone, it is Heather here uh, with a tutorial. So I'm going to try to show you how to make this little candy corn cutie that I made. Um, super easy, quick, um, doesn't take long to make one of these. Um, it's You're going to need to know your a cinch circle, single crochet, and slip stitch in order to do this. There are tutorials on how to do those. Um, I want to try to make this video as short as possible, so I'm not going to really get into depth in how to do all those stitches. So if you know how to do them, great. If you don't, go ahead and watch videos. There's videos on YouTube, tutorials on how to do cinch circles, which is also called the magic circle and whatnot, because you're going to need to know all of that. Um, and he does stand all by himself, so these are cute to, like, set around the house or whatever. Um, I think it's adorable with his little smile. Um, I'm going to show you what you're going to need to make this. So, you're going to need worsted weight yarn, uh, four weight. Doesn't matter which brand, um, not at all. You can use whichever brand you want. Um, it doesn't have to be super soft or anything. Um, Cause I don't, I don't really recommend these for kids. So one of the reasons why I don't really recommend these for little, like little bitty kids, is because I had an experience once with an ama. Cause I use the amagurumi eyes. Uh, the little eyes with the snapbacks. Now, I had made an amigurumi. I made a pig, and I put his little eyes on. I snapped it down, thought they were secure, um, and his eye came off. So, it's a little... When you're using these eyes, they can fall off, and they can become a choking hazard. So, as a disclaimer, I do not recommend these as toys. Just... Unless you want to use embroidery floss and you want to embroider the eyes on, that would be perfectly fine because then there's no little pieces to come off. Other than that, with the eyes, I I wouldn't recommend it. So just so you're aware. Um, so back to the yarn. You're going to need, like I said, you're going to need four weights. You're going to need white. So, doesn't matter what brand. And there's scraps amounts, like scrap amounts. You don't need a lot. It really doesn't use up a lot of yarn. And you're going to need some orange. Um, I like the brighter orange because it's a candy corn. So, this is just orange. Um, I don't, I didn't want to do the pumpkin. The pumpkin color is a darker. It's a darker orange. So, a brighter orange. And then I'm using a bright yellow. Um, it's actually called bright yellow. Uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Um, it's a really bright, you can tell, it's really bright. And you're going to need that. So you're going to need white, orange, and yellow in order to make the little candy corn. You're also going to need a 4.5 millimeter hook. Um, any 4.5 millimeter hook. Uh, G, this one says G plus on it, um, is what I recommend. So, and then you're going to need some scissors, of course. You're going to need a yarn needle to weave in your yarn ends. So, with a wide, wide enough to get your yarn in there. And then you're going to need some embroidery floss. I just got some black here to do his little mouth. So, you don't need a lot of that, unless you're going to do his eyes that way, too. And then I just got a smaller needle for my embroidery yarn so you do need sorry I'm trying to stay in frame here so you're gonna need another needle for that just to do his little mouth and then just a small amount of stuffing I got some fiber fill here just need a small amount um, you can use whatever you want to stuff him with some yarn ends uh, cut up t-shirts whatever you have laying around that you can stuff him with old Old pillow stuffing works too, like an old pillow you don't need anymore. It's, you know, no good. It's got stuffing in it. You can always use that too. So that's what you're going to need. Oh, I don't know if I said, oh, and then I like to use a little safety pin to keep, because we're going to be working in the round. 
So I have a safety pin to mark my stitches. So I always know where I'm at. And that is all you're going to need. So we're going to grab our white and our hook and you're going to do a cinch circle so you're going to do your cinch circle however you do it I use my hook and you know my tension is always so tight there we go and then I'm just going to pull this out and then you're going to do six single crochet into your little circle so just six single crochet. There's one. And there's two. So just put your six single crochet into your cinch circle and I'll meet you back when you have all six of them. Okay, so I have, I got all six of my single crochets in my cinch circle. And I'm going to cinch it up, but not quite all the way. I just find that it's easier to get into that first, into the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet. It's a little difficult, so you just got to kind of wiggle around a little bit till you get it through both loops. Okay, and then once you have both loops on there, you're just going to go ahead and single crochet and I'm going to pull up and I'm going to mark this one so we want to go from six single crochet to nine single crochet this so this is how we're going to do it I'm going to increase so I got my first single crochet now I'm going to do two single crochet into the next stitch so I'm just going to go ahead and put two single crochet into that next stitch and into the next one after that, I'm just going to put one. And then I'm going to do two single crochet into the next stitch. So one and two. And then into the next stitch, I'm going to single crochet one time. And then into my last stitch here, I'm going to put two single crochet. So one. and two. You could tighten up your little circle. Alright, so now I have nine single crochet. Or it's nine single crochet. I have nine yeah, I have nine single crochet stitches in this circle here now. Sorry. It's getting late. I'm getting a little tired. So I'm going to pull out my marker and I'm gonna go ahead and then in the next round we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch so you should have nine total all the way back around so you should have nine just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch I'm gonna mark my first one so I'll meet you back after you have your nine single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I have my nine all the way around still. Um, and I just went ahead and tightened up my circle and weaved in my end inside on the inside of my work. So the wrong side. Uh, you can tell because it's all like bumpy and whatnot. So I went ahead and I did that. So you can do that if you want, or you can wait. But I just did it so it tightens up that little circle at the top. My little cinch circle. Alright, so this round, we're going to increase. And we're going to change colors at the end of this round as well. So, we're also going to go ahead and change colors too. Alright, so for this round, we're going to move from 9 stitches up to 12 stitches. So we're going to single crochet into this first one. And again, I'm going to just mark it so I know where it's at. Okay. And then we're going to single crochet 
into the next into the next one just one single crochet and into the next stitch after that we're going to put two single crochet so one and two oops so you're just going to go one so single crochet single crochet two single crochet all the way around you're going to do that set two more times so single crochet single crochet two single crochet so just do that all the way around and i'll meet you back at the end okay so I didn't put my last two single crochet into the stitch yet because I want to show you how we're going to change colors now. We're going to go to our orange color. So I'm going to go ahead and put one single crochet into that stitch and then I'm going to do a half of a second single crochet because there's supposed to be two in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go in, pull up a loop, and now I got two on my hook. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my white. I'm going to grab my yellow, or my yellow, my orange. I'm going to go ahead and grab my orange yarn, and this is just what I do. You can change your color however you want, but this is just my way of doing it. I'm just going to lay my yarn, my orange yarn, right over top. I'm just going to pull it through the two white loops. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this down. This is how I like to do it so I don't lose it. And I'm just going to knot these two ends together, the orange and the white ends. I'm just going to knot those together. I know some people say, don't knot your yarn, but you know, this is how I'm going to do it because we're not going to see this when it's all said and done. It will be on the inside of our work. And I'm just going to trim down these ends so they're not so long. I don't need all of that. All right. So my orange is attached now. I'm good to go. So the next round is simple. You're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around and you should have a total of 12 stitches. So go all the way around with a row single crochet uh, making sure you know of course make sure that you have 12 and you can just tuck I'm just going to go ahead and start it. And that knot will just, it'll eventually be hidden behind everything. So go ahead and do your 12 single crochet around and I'll meet you back at the end. All right, so I have my 12 single crochet all the way around. So I have 12. Now we're going to go from 12 to 15. So we're going to go from 12 stitches to 15 stitches. So I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to single crochet once into this first stitch, pull it up, mark it, and then I'm going to single crochet once into the next two stitches. So one into that one, one into the next one, and then I'm going to put two into this next stitch. So there's one and two single crochet. So we went single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. You're going to go do one, two, three single crochet in a row and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So repeat that that set, we'll just call them sets. We'll repeat that set two more times and you'll end with two single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so I ended with my two single crochet into this last stitch. You should have a total of 15 stitches now all the way around. Uh, double count just to make sure that you didn't miss any or you didn't, you know, you forgot to add two into the stitch that you were supposed to but you should have 15 stitches all the way around. The next round is going to be easy. It's just going to be single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch around. So just single crochet into each stitch around. You'll still have your 15 stitches. 
So just do that all the way around and I'll meet you after this round. All right, so I have my 15 stitches all the way around. Uh, now we're gonna do an increase round and after this we're gonna change colors too. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do an increase round. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna single crochet into that first stitch. I'm gonna pull up, mark it, and we're gonna go from 15 stitches to 18 stitches. So we got our first single crochet in there, and then we're gonna go and put a single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the stitch after that, and then a single crochet after that, and then two into the next one. So one and two. So technically we did one, two, three, four single crochet in a row, and then two single crochet into the next stitch, into the stitch after that. So that's where you're gonna repeat for two more sets of that. You're gonna go single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet. Repeat that all the way around and you'll have a total of 18 stitches and I'll meet you back at the end of this round. All right, so I've came to my last stitch here and this is where I'm gonna change to my yellow. So I only put one single crochet into that last stitch but we need two into that last stitch in order to get our 18 stitches, in order to get our 18 single crochet. So like before with the, when I changed over to orange, I'm gonna go ahead and start my single crochet. I'm gonna pull up a loop. And I'm just gonna snip off some of that. I don't need the orange anymore. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my yellow. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna lay it over top. Like I said, change your yarn how you want. Doesn't matter. Everybody's different. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna knot it. Maybe. So we're just gonna make a knot. Snip off some excess. Get rid of, so I don't need all that sticking out. All right, so now my yellow is attached. So, and I have my two single crochet now in that last stitch. So now I have my 18 stitches. This round is easy. You're just gonna single crochet into each stitch around and you should have 18 stitches when you get to the end. So just single crochet. If you need a stitch marker, just make sure you're marking your first stitch there. All right, so then you're just gonna single crochet all the way around. Make sure you have 18 stitches. And then I will meet you back at the end of this round. All right, so I have my 18 stitches all the way around. I just did single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch all the way around, still have 18. Now we're gonna do an increase round. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna single crochet into this first one, mark it, and then I'm gonna single crochet, sorry, I have my little notes over here. And then I'm gonna single crochet into one, two, into the next four stitches. So one, two, Three, three, and four. So technically you have five single crochet in a row. So you have your starting one. So one, two, three, four, and five that I'm almost gonna lose here, and five in a row. And then you're gonna put two single crochet into the next stitch. So you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. You're gonna do five single crochet in a row and then two single crochet. Five single crochet in a row, two single crochet. So just repeat that all the way around. You're gonna do that, you're gonna do those sets two more times and you should have a total of 21 single crochet at the end. Okay, so now I have 21 stitches 
all the way around. I put my last two single crochet into that last stitch there. You should have two into that last stitch. And you should have 21 stitches. Okay, so the next round, easy. We're just going to single crochet in each of those 21 stitches all the way around. So you should still have 21 at the very end. So go ahead and do this round of straight single crochet and I'll meet you back for our last round. Alright, so I just did my straight single crochet all the way around. I still have 21 stitches. So this is what it's starting to look like. We're going to go ahead and do one more round and it's going to be an increase round. We are going to end on an increase round. Um, I know most people normally wouldn't do that, but this is what I'm going to do. So, we're going to single crochet. It's that first one. And we're going to mark it. Maybe. Alright, and we want to go from 21 stitches to 24 stitches. So, I got my first single crochet into here. So now I want to do six single crochet in a row. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then into that seventh one, I'm going to put two single crochet. So one and two. And you're just going to repeat that for two more sets. You're going to do six in a row and then two. Six in a row, six single crochet in a row, and then two. So just repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I finished my sets and I have 24 stitches all the way around. I ended in that last single crochet with two single crochet. So I have 24 stitches all the way around and that's it for the top part for now. So I'm just going to pop out my stitch marker, my safety pin, whatever. And I'm just going to go over to this next stitch here and I'm just going to slip stitch into it. And I'm going to chain one and I'm going to pull up. You don't need a really long, my hook's rolling across the table. You don't really need a long and I'm just pull it through, tighten it up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take this tail and I'm just going to weave it a little bit through some stitch, you know, some back of these stitches in here and kind of weave it down in there a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you back and I'll show you how to make the bottom to this. I want to get all the pieces first and then I'll show you how we put it all together with his little eyes and his face and, you know, get his face on and his bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and weave this end in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just weaved, I just weaved that little end in and I just snipped it because I don't need a bunch of it, you know, dangling down in there. You can leave it in there, but it kind of gets in the way when you're doing its face. So I try to make the ends as short as I possibly can without them coming out just so I have more, you know, just so when I do his face, I don't have to mess with all that. So there's the top part, little cone, little candy corn top, it's all done. You're still going to need a stitch marker. Now we're going to do the bottom. So you're going to grab your yellow. You're going to keep your yellow up and you're going to use that because we want it to blend. And what we're going to do, this one's a lot quicker. This is only a few rounds. So we're going to start with a cinch circle. Cinch it up. So do your cinch circle. And then just like the top, we're going to start with six single crochet into the circle. So go ahead and do your six single crochet into your circle, just like we did on the top. And I'll meet you back when you have your six. All right, so I got my six single crochet into my circle. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit, but I'm not going to do it all the way just like the top. I'm going to do it just like the top. And I'm going to go ahead and single crochet directly into this first stitch here, which again, can be a little tricky sometimes. So I'm going to single crochet into that two times. So, well, I'm going to mark it first, but you're going to put two single crochet into this because we're going to go from six to tw 
12. So I'm going to mark this first one. And you're just going to single crochet twice into that first stitch. So I need to put one more single crochet into there. And you're just going to put two single crochet into each stitch around. So we can go from 6 to 12. So go ahead and put two single crochet stitches into each one all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the end and make sure you have 12. Make sure you didn't miss any because you can because it's a little wonky. And you can tighten up your little circle a little bit there if you want. So go ahead and put two into each stitch for 12 and I'll meet you back at the end. All right. So now I have my 12 stitches all the way around because I put two in each of my six for my previous row. So each stitch got two. So now I have 12. So now we're going to increase again. And we're going to go from 12 to 18. So we're going to single crochet into that first stitch. I'm just going to single crochet into that. I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to mark it. Okay. So I got one. And then I'm going to put two single crochet into the next stitch. So one and two. Ugh, the sound. I know. My wood hook is sounding horrible. And then I'm going to put one single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch. So one and two. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Just repeat that all the way around and you should end with two single crochet in that last stitch. And you should have a total of 18 stitches. So I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I ended with my last two single crochet into that last stitch there. Now we're going to do one more row of increase and then we're done with this bottom piece. But we're going to do one more row of increase. We're going to get up to 24 stitches because we ended with 24 stitches on the bottom of our top piece. So we have to get to 24. So what we're going to do is again, I'm just going to pop this out. I'm going to single crochet once into that first stitch and remark it. Just mark it. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch once. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to put two single crochet. So I'm going to put two. So there's one and two. And I'm going to repeat that around. I'm going to go one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to go... You're going to go, if I can get it here, one, one, two, one, one, two. So repeat that all the way around and you should have a total of 24 stitches ending with two single crochet into that last stitch. And I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I ended with two single crochet in this last stitch. I double counted. Now I have 24 stitches all the way around. So we're done with the bottom. You got 24 stitches all the way around. And what I did is I went ahead and I did like I did on the top. I just weaved my middle. I cinched it up as tight as I could get it without breaking my yarn. And then I just weaved it around and then I cut it because it's going to be on the inside. Because this bumpy side is the inside. And this side the working side that was facing us is our outside so you can see this is the icky side we don't care about that side we want this side so well it's the bottom so it really doesn't matter but it does a little bit so anyways enough of that this yarn is so splitty it's just splitting all by itself don't even need help so i'm going to pop out my stitch marker i'm done with this i don't need this anymore Hopefully I don't stab myself with it. So I'm done with my stitch marker. I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch here. 
just like on the top when we finish the top piece but we're going to leave a long enough tail that we can sew it to the bottom that we can sew this bottom to our top piece so you go ahead and slip stitch chain one leave a long enough tail that you can use for sewing I probably have more than I definitely need and I'm just going to pull it through tighten it up okay and that's our top or our bottom piece so we're going to set this aside because we don't need that right now then we're going to work on our top piece we're going to put his little face on and I didn't get his eyes so give me a minute and I will get his I'm a groomy eyes they're five millimeter if I didn't say that his little eyes are five millimeters I'm a groomy eyes so let me go ahead and grab those because apparently I forgot about those I apologize okay I'm back I did grab five these are five millimeter I'm a groomy eyes but like I said you could also just embroider some eyes on if you want it to be given to a little person I mean I would suggest doing that instead of putting these eyes on I mean I got the backs that snap on but I don't know they're just not safe enough for me I don't feel comfortable so you're just gonna find where you want to place you don't want to flatten them out like this because then your eyes are gonna be like if you put one here and one here pull it back they're gonna be like on either side because we are gonna stuff it so you want it to be round so you want it, it's easy it pretty much will do what you want it to do at this point so you're just gonna find and I like to put the mouth the face right in this orange part because it's in the center so I'm just gonna find like this is my back and I know this is my back because I got this weird thing there which we will fix when we put the bottom on so I want to put that towards the back side and this is my front side so you just want to find where you want to put your eyes so you just kind of want to you don't want to if you're using amigurumi eyes you never want to snap them on put the backs on until you place your eyes and you get them where you want them to be um, I'm gonna go ahead and fiddle with this off camera um, I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna place my eyes take your time make sure they're even you know before you lock them into place make sure you have them where you want them um, so go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how I do the mouth all right, I'm back. Uh, his eyes are a little off, I think, but you know, uh, I was trying to hurry up and do it as quick as possible. Uh, so I went ahead and I I decided I'm just gonna do it. Like that's where his eyes are gonna be. So I went ahead and I snapped the backs on to secure them. Now I'm gonna do the mouth. So I have my embroidery floss in black, and I have my little needle that I use for my embroidery floss and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try eh, my camera is horrible I apologize so I'm gonna come a little kitty corner and I want to come out here like I don't want to go directly between the eyes and I don't want to come out straight down underneath his eye I kind of want to go off at an angle so I'm going to go ahead and go up through the inside. And I'm going to kind of poke around. I mean, take your time. I'm just going to find a spot where I want his little mouth to go. And I'm going to pull up. I'm going to leave some tail. Because I'm going to knot these ends together when I'm done. So I'm going to leave a little bit of tail. Okay. I think that's fine all right that's okay and then I'm gonna go right across from it still at an angle from his other eye and kind of go right across from where just this is something that you just take your time with um, if you don't like you could always pull it out and try again and then I'm just gonna go ahead and his little mouth down a little bit you kind of want to use your needle and pop it down and see where you want 
I think that's cute. And then kind of see where you want to come back up between. You're going to go right between where you did this, where you did your line. You don't want to pull it all the way tight. You want to leave a little bit because you want to make his little smile. So I'm going to come up right between that as best I can. Uh, let's see. I'm going to come up maybe a little further down. There we go. So I want him to have a happy little mouth. So I'm going to come up. Oops. So I'm going to come up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick my needle to get to the other side up towards his eyes. I don't know if you guys even seen me do that. Most of you probably already know how to sew on mouths. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to pull. See how if I pull that down? Uh, it's got a little mouth. He's got a cute little smile now. So I'm just going to pop this back down over top to pull it down. So go right back in that same spot you just came out of. Go directly down into it. So I'm going to go directly down into it. Oops, what did I get stuck on? I got stuck on something. I'm going to pull his little mouth down. So, then you can fiddle with it a little bit. Just kind of pull on this end a little bit. Tighten it up. You don't want to pull it too tight because you don't want to sink it down in there and then lose his mouth. And So, there's his little mouth. See that? So I got his little mouth. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and knot my two ends together. What did happen here? Um, apparently I made a mistake somewhere. Alright, I have to fix this. Okay, I fixed my mistake. I made a mistake. Now I got to put a little knot. You're just going to make a little knot. Tie his ends together. Don't tighten it too much because you don't want to pull his little mouth out of shape and make it all weird. I'm just going to snip ends because I don't want a bunch of ends in there. Take a look at him. See how you like him. I think he's cute. I like him just like this. Okay, so you're going to grab your yarn needle. You're going to grab your yarn needle and i got stuff going everywhere. Then you're going to grab your bottom piece. Okay. You make sure that the right side is facing you. And the wrong side is going to be on the inside. Like that. So that's how we want it. We don't want it like this. Where that bumpy side's out. We want it like this. And then you see how you've got this little notch here? You're going to have like a little notch. We also have a little notch right here. So what I like to do... To even it to make it a little less noticeable I like to kind of piece them together like this it's hard to see this bright yellow yarn but I just I kind of piece them together like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my yarn on my needle here so once I got it all up. I got it all even. You can fiddle around with it. Take your time if you want to kind of get it even. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go where my knot is. I'm going to go through both stitches on this side. If you can see that. I went through both. So I'm just going to pull it through. And it's going to pull it into place. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go back this way and go back out that way. I'm going to go into this way. And you should be able to line up your stitches. Because we have 24 on our top piece and we have 24 on our bottom piece. So, you should be able to pretty accurately piece them together. Um... Since we're going back and forth, you you can mess with it. If you miss a stitch, it's not 
you know, just kind of play with it. And you're just going to go back and forth, but we're not going to sew it all the way closed. Not yet. I want to leave a little bit open because we still have to put a stuffing in. So go ahead and sew back and forth all the way around and just leaving enough of a space for you to stuff your stuffing down in. And I'll meet back with you. Okay, so I left enough opening for me to go ahead and stuff him. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of stuffing at a time. And I just want to shove it down in there. I want to get all the way down to the very tip of him. So he has stuffing down there. You don't want to overstuff it. You don't want it to be all crazy and out of whack and bumpy and weird. And you don't want to stretch your stitches. So just go at it at a slow pace and just slowly fill him. I think I might have too much stuff in here. Yeah. So like I said, you don't need a lot of stuffing for this guy. You just kind of wiggle it around, get it in, in all the crevices and stuff. I think that's it because once I sew them together, he's going to be pretty. Yeah. I think he's stuffed enough. And you can always like fiddle with it and mess around and squeeze him and get him into shape once you get him all sewn closed. So I'm just going to finish sewing him closed and I'll be right back. All right. So I finished sewing him up. Um he looks okay. It's not perfect. Nothing handmade is 100% perfect, so as long as it looks okay from, you know, it, it's not horrible. <laughs> He's not terrible. Of course, you always take your time and, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little piece of a stitch here. And I'm just going to pop my needle through it. And I'm just going to pull until I have a little loop. And I'm just going to pull my yarn through that. I'm just going to knot it up nice and tight. Nice and sturdy. You could always do a second. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a second knot. I'm going to go back under that same loop. I'm going to do it one more time. I just want a secure knot so the bottom doesn't start to come apart on me. Last a little longer. Alright, so I think that's secure enough. Yeah. Pull it down. Use your fingers. Get it as tight and close as possible without pulling stitches out of place. Then I'm just going to take my yarn needle weave it down. I'm going to come out somewhere. I'm just back. And I'm just going to go right back through that same stitch that I just came out of. Go back down. I'm going to go through his bottom. And pull it out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and snip. If you have any pieces, I don't think I do. I think it popped back in there. Sometimes it'll pop right back in there. So, I'm good. So that's it. And you can flatten his little, his little bottom kind of pops in a little bit. Like you can push it in. So it's kind of curved in a little bit. It helps it stand better, I think. And then it stands. He just, he stands up all by himself. See? And then that's it. That is a little candy corn cutie. I think he's adorable. Uh, I have a whole bunch of these. Um, so yeah, if you like my video, go ahead and hit like. Um... If you have any feedback, please keep it nice. Um, I know I did this video as quick as I possibly could. So, um, I apologize to anybody who couldn't, if you couldn't keep up and you didn't understand it. I did try to keep it as to the minimum because it's so, it's, it takes so long because there's so many increases and there's pieces to put together. So, Please no negative comments, only positive vibes. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section, and I will try to respond to you. Um, and that's it. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks.